Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? Anyway, I've wanted to film a video like this for a really long time, but I keep putting it off because in my head I'm like, no, 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 it has to look good, like it has to be clean, it has to be tidy, I have to make a good impression. And then I was like, fuck it, who cares? I really don't give a shit. Ooh, she's different. So, without further ado, welcome to my honest university room tour. Okay, let's go. Well, there it is. <laughs> it's honestly way less glamorous than a lot of the uni room tour videos portray uni rooms to be. As you can see, my one is quite small. However, it's actually slightly bigger than a lot of the rooms in this particular university accommodation. And that all has to do with like the layout, like a lot of people's beds are normally up there and it's kind of like a, a skinny bit here and then it opens up, whereas mine kind of does the opposite, gets skinny at the end. Skinny legend. Let me take you through it. We've got boxes here because I'm kind of semi in the process of moving out. The stage in the process is I haven't started yet. Here is one of my plants. I had more, um, but they all died. And this one's kind of, on its way out as well. This is my mum's first communion chalice or something. I don't know, some Methodist regalia. I think it has her name on it. Yeah, there you go. Can't really see her birthday, which she'll be happy about. Currently contains some tea, which has been steeping for far too long. I've got some half-hearted fairy lights because we pop on trends in this house. That used to have a plant in it. Here's my desk. We've got Milo, but it's empty. We've got a box, one very infamous microphone. PSA, be careful who you lend these things to. We have a corkboard covered in things from when I was 14. I never got around to covering up the entire corkboard, but I felt it was important to put my haircut loyalty card up there. And my violin and some music because I'm a um, musician. Law textbooks, a rock from Iceland, pens in a thing, my speaker, LGBT icon. Here are my shoes. I feel like I don't have that many shoes. I have trainers, I have boots. I have thongs, not flip-flops. White fake vans. I have black actual vans. I have some really nice, these are my mum's. I have fucking, these aren't even shoes. And some dress shoes, which are dusty. Oh, there's even fucking cobwebs in them. This almost kind of like your vagina. Tupperware, that looks dirty, but the carpet is clean, they're upside down because they're drying. These were lent to me by a really lovely boy who made me vegan tortillas. I have to get these back to you so I'd have them sold. A lot of the rooms don't have this shelf here. A few months ago, I had it set up really nice, like there was kind of like a nice display, all the colors worked together, and then it just turned into a fucking mess. I don't even know why I have these. This is empty, so we can move Harambe down here. Fix out. Earring things, sunglasses, which don't fit or don't have glass in them. My actual glasses. How do I fucking open this? Here we go. Yuck. We don't speak about her. And then under here, it's a, it's a mess. I'll deal with that later. Next we have the mirror and sink, but mostly mirror. That's what's important here. However, the sink is quite useful. There's always something in here. People always come in here and tell me to do my washing up and I tell them, how about you do my washing up? Cutlery. These were a fantastic investment. These vines were meant to be part of my Tarzan costume for Halloween, but Amazon delivered them two days late. So now they're just some nice decor. They get mixed reactions. Some people are like, oh my God, it looks so cool. I love what you've done with the vines. And other people are like, why have you got fake vines around your mirror? I don't know. Then I have skin stuff, moisturizer, whatever this is called. Oil infused cleansing water. This stuff, I actually, I don't know what it does, but we say yes. Oil balancing exfoliating wash without microbeads because we love the environment. Toothpaste, Barocca, I stole that from a hotel. I used to use this as lube, it's vaginal jelly. Stole that from a hotel. This has lasted me the whole year, it's still not even done. I swear I wash my hands. Oh, travel size. Contact lens, dish, and solution. Fuck. This is a mess, that's all. This is where I put my coats. They used to pretend to live up here, but they never really did. And now they've just finally accepted that their rightful place is in the fucking floor. Um, it also doesn't help that I have like 12,000 coats. There's like eight on the floor right now. They just don't go anywhere because my cupboard, oh, let's check the cupboard. My cupboard is full. I don't even know what's up there. Probably important stuff. Over here um, is a note from a friend of mine, shout out, with a nice message for when he had a charger delivered to my door. This is my bin. It is quite often overflowing. This is an Australian flag that used to live, see the blue tap, up like kind of hanging really nicely from my ceiling. 
Um, but it just kept falling over. And then I just gave up and now it's a, a nice little rug. Here's all my clothes. As you can see, half of them are on the floor. It's messy because I live here. Oh, these are dirty. This can go in the dirty thing. This was an Amazon deal, 40 noodles, mi goreng flavor, vegan, also quite good. And as you can see, oh, I have one left. <laughs> Okay. Here's the rest of my clothes. It doesn't look like there's any organization, but let me tell you there isn't kidding There kind of is this is all like shirts and then here is all my jumpers and like sweaters and cardigans and stuff And that's double layered like that goes double layered deep because there's just lots of those and then here is bottoms we love a bottom. This is my chair, commonly known as a place where clothes go. Um, we'll move this, you can see. This was a semi-accidental acquisition. I was getting an emoji cushion for a friend of mine for Secret Santa, and it was like eight pounds. But then if you paid an extra two pounds, you got an extra cushion. And I was like, well, I can't go past that bargain. And so now I have the most annoying emoji as a cushion in my bedroom. Oh. Then I got this guy. He's shown up in a video previously. I haven't named him yet. I mean, he's the King's College mascot. He's a lion. The actual one is called Reggie, but he's little. Reggie Jr. is lame, so I'll think of something. Comment below what the lion should be called, and maybe I'll call it that. Here is an evening standard from a while ago. As you can see, before the royal wedding, clothes, 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 clothes. And up here used to be one of my favorite displays, and now it's just fucking covered in rubbish. This plant is also not dead, so um, I think they're like plotting to kill me before I kill them. This is the bottle I used to water them. It's empty and covered in dust. What does that say? Here is a little piggy bank, which I got from my friend Catherine. This is a $20 note from Australia. We hate capitalism, but we love money. More music stuff because I'm still a musician. This I got from, where was it? XOYO on Valentine's Day, Yonsei night, which was a sick club night until I got harassed on the way home. Partly probably because I was wearing that. It's fine. Here is one of my favorite presents I've ever gotten for my birthday before. Three guesses who I got it from. Yeah, this girl, her name is Manon. She's an angel and I love her. I love that photo. Okay, nearly done. Liza Minnelli, lies. My ukulele, because I'm still a musician. Rubicon iced tea. Shout out to Becca and Mim for putting me onto that. Oh, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's something. Where was I? Yes, Rubicon iced tea. Filled with sugar, but also filled with love and enjoyment. Iconic. We stand. Move. Then we have free from Doritos from Tesco of all places. And they are just really good. And I've already finished most of the packet. In here, in this cupboard, uh, is just plastic bag. Up here, oh, I've got some cute little photo booth pictures from the other day. We've got Mim, we've got Flam, we've got Moi, we've got Sophie Joe, we've got Becca. We've got the whole squad. We have a little portrait of my father, Hamza Hussein. Thank you for watching Over Me Nightly, I love you. We have a hairbrush. We have my AirPods because I'm a dickhead and I hate myself, but these are really good. My keys, my thermos, which has water in it and has a koala on it. Lip balm, because my lips hate me. We've got some mints, we've got some Panadol, we've got some nutritional yeast. We've got my French passport because I am a citizen of what? The world. Some actual lube. Not vagina jelly. That's almost finished. And some apricot jam, which I stole from a hotel. There's a theme here. Down here used to be food, but now, like, I guess all I eat is pandol, mints, and nutritional yeast. And lube. Brown sugar cubes, down with white supremacy. Then we've got some tea bags. I stole these from down the hall. Don't tell anybody. My little tin of ear things. A bowl from Sahar. Chicken salt, which I got water inside of, so now it's like chicken paste, which is just gross. A mug from Lowry, which was featured previously. I can't this time. Lights? Ooh, do these work? Wait, let's see. Oh, oh. How underwhelming. Never mind. Up here is meant to be health stuff, so I've got like a bunch of wipes because bottoming is a struggle, ladies and gentlemen. Some drugs. We've got some strep sores, we got some tissues, we got some E45. Supplements, which I haven't taken in a while. Another cup, this is also from Sahar. Mug, mug, empty jars. Here, now you might say, Dom, wow, that's a lot of cups. And I would say back to you, mind your damn business. Basically, I take the cup that they give me in the bar downstairs and I take it and I bring it up with me because I don't want to just throw it away because that 
will end up in the ocean because these are non-recyclable. And so I use these, but then I go down and get another drink a few days later and I get another cup and it just joins the collection base. Yeah, so that's, that's that. Then here, I've got a sunglasses case and a sunglasses. My Kindle, which I think is out of battery. Look how dusty this is. Ew. Whatever that is. Fake moustaches, which I got for Christmas. I haven't opened those yet. I'm saving those for a special occasion. Don't know what it will be, but I'll have them. We've got some contraband paraphernalia because I'm dangerous. Kidding. This is a friend's. This is a friend's. Actually, I think I stole that. Scandal. In the back is a Polaroid, which I haven't used in a while because I've run out of film, and film is fucking expensive. Speaking of Polaroids, we'll get to that. Okay, shut up again. Why is God so angry? It's probably because of the gaze. Up here, is just stuff that I really don't give a shit about. Cause like you can see, I'm having to stand like on the edge of my bed to get up here. We don't care about this stuff, bye. It's too far up, we don't care. Here is a wall of Polaroids. JK, they're Instax minis, but they're just Polaroids. Sorry, Fuji film. I really love looking at these. That is why they are on my wall. And I think they're just really pretty. Also just the hashtag memes. I know this is such a Fiat 500 thing to say, but I love my friends and I like looking back on Memories shared with them. Each row is laid out in different sort of time periods. I haven't taken many. You can see like the last row is all like uni pics, but I haven't taken many. We don't have money, so we say no. This is a game called Exquisite Corpses, which I played when I was back in Australia over Christmas with these people. Some of them are my family. And it's just really fun. And if you are friends with me, we should play it because it is sick. Here is my bed. I like to sit here and do nothing all day, every day, which is bad for me, but also so nice. Under my bed is storage. I don't use this. Oh yes, I do, apparently. Never mind. Um, and that's my suitcase. I came over to the UK with just one suitcase. Here she is. God bless. My bed is quite comfy. I have a really thick mattress protector. It's just, it's nice. I love it. Um, that's my computer. Say hi. hi. Here, this is my wall. It started off quite bare. I'm proud of how much it's flourished. It's blossomed. It's just grown. What's another synonym? Into this beautiful display of things. Let me take you through it. Women's March. University strikes. Card from Lowry. Photo booth pictures from the King's Law Ball. King's Law Ball place card. Tickets going to and from Australia for Christmas. Wristbands from heaven. Bastion of the LGBT community. A poster from my favorite podcast, Dragon Friends. Check it out. Signed by all the cast members. More lights that don't work. Don't even worry about it. Oh, my friend Emily when she ran for second year law for a representative. She won. We love friends in high places. Education funding cuts. My beautiful mother, I love her, I miss her. All the Cambridge colleges, because I stand Cambridge, never even applied, but we stand Liechtenstein, because I went to Liechtenstein. Train tickets. Confirmation of study letter from Kings. LOL. And some nice birthday cards from my friends written on love hearts because they love me or something. This is tablecloth taken from the Christmas dinner. A eucalyptus leaf because I'm a citizen of what apart from the world? Australia. Merry Christmas, thank you. This is from Jenny. Thanks. From Baby, it's cold outside, which I was supposed to sing with someone at Christmas until they had a bit of a melty. More Christmas cards, love my friends. Health and safety is important, and I'm apparently not allowed to take those down. My friends, Camargo, Tess, I love them. Christmas ball ticket, um, that's nothing. Have I missed anything? I'm pretty sure I got it all. That's pretty much it. There's not really much to it. Sometimes I get people in my room. Say hi. Hi everybody! Don't you buy references, references <laughs> that I don't understand? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the phone. Oh, I never look at it. Oh! Who is he though? I'm just gonna look at my TV here, isn't it? It's things that are not true. Well, that's a first. Stop it! <laughs> but as you can see, all those videos that are like, oh yes, these are my fairy lights. These are my beautiful plants that never die. This is my mug of tea, which I just happen to have. These are my beautiful bed sheets, and my bed is definitely made all the time. There are absolutely no clothes anywhere but my chest of drawers and my wardrobe because, um, why would you put clothes on the floor? All those videos are lying to you, so honestly, you're welcome for the hashtag truth. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is my room. Um, stop by any time, give me a knock, would love to chat. <sighs> okay, that's it. Bye! <laughs> like and subscribe! <laughs>